our show, one of these four players was chosen by Lot to be what we call the faker. And he or she is holding over $5,000 in cash and prizes. Now, the other three players, the fortune hunters, don't know who the faker is. The faker knows who he or she is and wants to avoid detection, doesn't want to get caught. Object of the game, be the first player to correctly identify the faker. Whoever does that will meet the faker at the end of our show and try to take away that faker's fortune. Now, how do the fortune hunters identify the faker? Simple, by competing for clues to the faker's identity. The faker will be competing for clues too because any clue the faker sees is a clue the other players don't get to see. But before anybody gets to see a clue, they must first correctly answer two questions. You'll see how it all works as we go along. And as we go along, see how good you are at spotting the faker. Hi, everybody. Hi, Bob. Hi, Bob. Ray, Barbara, Bob, and Carol, you all know how we play. Two right answers, and you get to see a clue to the faker's identity. Put your hands on your buzzers. Good luck to you. Here's your first question. Chirping, singing, flying, blue. Which is not a kind of nun? Carol. Chirping. That's right. right. Chirping is right. There was the singing nun, the flying nun, and blue nun wine, but there is no chirping nun. See how it works? It's the one that doesn't belong. Carol, that's good for you. You have one right answer. Get another right answer, and you'll get to see a clue. Here's the next question. The little drummer boy, Mr. Tambourine Man, 76 trombones, the stripper. Which could not fit in a telephone booth? Carol again. Mr. Tambourine Man. Sorry, no. Bob. 76 All trombones. Right, 76 right. trombones is right. Good answer. Bob and Carol, you each have one right answer. You need two to see a clue. Here's the next question. Standing at the bar, sitting on a stool, drink in hand, bottoms up. Which is not a good position for watching TV? Bob. Uh, bottoms up. That's right. <laughs> Bob, it's kind of hard to watch TV with your bottom up, isn't it? Yes. Carol, over $6,000. Congra congratulations. And everybody out there, join us tomorrow for a brand new show and a brand new faker whose name will be, uh, 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 you'll find out soon enough on the next edition of Fortune Hunter.